Hi friends, so many people are surprised that despite being an acute and critical infectious disease doctor exposed daily at the height of the global trauma that began in 2020, I've not gotten a cold nor slowed down. I've never caught the bug and have several lab tests to prove it. Now, while the world was zooming and gardening, I had to show up in person. And if you were a hospital healthcare worker in 2020 through 2021, thank you for your service. Few people understand the trauma and lifelong scars that are etched in our memories and our hearts. And that's really why I started this YouTube channel. So how have I been able to evade that contagious bug and keep myself and my family safe? It's been a lot of hard work, meticulous hygiene practices, and a methodical approach to health. I have been methodical about my hydration, my nutrition, my sleep, and my exercise. Now, it's not perfect. I often miss out on sleep, and at work I skip meals, and I also don't have the opportunity to drink. But I'm gonna share with you the top 10 daily immune boosting foods I do so that you can think about how you can approach your health and immunity to keep you and your family safe. Now every morning I start my day off with 64 ounces of fluid and I drink that over about two hours which includes one serving of green tea. Green tea has anti-infective and antiviral properties and it's been shown to reduce common colds in children and nursing home residents. Hydration allows all your cells to optimally work especially your respiratory cells that have sweepers to clean out gunk. In addition, people who mouth breathe get more infections than people who breathe through their nose. Besides having more surface area in your mouth, it's just not an efficient as your nose as protecting you from germs. Now the second food that I target when I start eating are berries. I eat all kinds of berries and I target about three cups daily simply because I just love eating them. But blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, are what I go for. They're just very common in where I live. And when I run out of berries, I actually stock up on Amla called Indian Gooseberries that comes in a powder form that I just ordered off of Amazon. It um, tastes nothing like the fresh berries, but I eat it for its antioxidant power. Now, I'm also a big fan of properly prepared elderberries. Elderberries have been shown to reduce cold symptoms. I'm exposed to all different kinds of stuff, so I make sure that I eat elderberries every day. And I do it in a supplement form. If you're interested on the supplement I take, I have a link in the show notes below. I also make sure that I do turmeric daily. Turmeric is one of those anti-inflammatory spices that is just good to do. And I literally just sprinkle it on my food even if I don't have time to cook it. Now you can drink it as a tea, you can eat it as curry, or you can just do what I do, just sprinkle it on your food or sprinkle it when you're cooking. Nutrition lease is also a must eat for me. I do it daily. It's been shown to increase salivary antibodies in athletes to reduce their colds, especially in endurance runners. And we know that they are especially immunosuppressed. It's also a great source of B12, which is necessary for people who don't eat any meat. And I quit eating meat and animal products to really improve my immunity. I get my protein from eating an abundant amount of beans, especially garbanzo beans and lentils. Peas don't count. They're not really anti-inflammatory. I try to target about 40 grams of fiber daily, and that's really hard to do unless I eat beans and whole grains, as most other foods don't have much fiber. Fiber feeds your gut microbiome, which people underestimate and frankly abuse. And your gut microbiome not only helps you feel better, gives you energy, powers you, but it can help you combat illnesses and diseases. Think of it as your internal pet, sort of like a Jekyll and Hyde. You treat your pet kindly and they will pay you back in love and dividends like a loyal dog. You abuse it and you will wake up with an internal dragon that will make your life miserable. And that's leaky gut. That's the power of your gut microbiome, which can make anti-inflammatory molecules to optimize your immunity. If you feed it fiber or inflammatory molecules, if you're eating meat and processed foods, Americans don't eat enough fiber and they don't eat enough beans. Eat more beans. Gas is normal. If you're not passing gas, you're likely constipated or have some form of a bowel issue. Pass gas daily. Green leafy vegetables, especially broccoli and dinosaur kale, is what I eat every day. Honestly, I make myself eat this stuff because of its powerful phytonutrients and immune-supporting anti-cancer properties. 
I'm not just trying to evade infections. I'm actually going for longevity. So I will either th eat three cups of greens or I just pulverize it in a blender and drink it. I usually will throw in some berries and soy milk to make it more palatable. Soy is also another source of protein for me. Soy milk and tofu is what I try to do daily. Asians do this daily for eons. The phytoestrogens, they block the bad effects of estrogens. The more soy people eat, the healthier and longer they live. Now this is whole soy, not soy additives. Chinese and Japanese people are still the longest and healthiest living people on earth, not stuck in a nursing home bed when they're elderly. They eat a ton of tofu, they eat a ton of soy. Tofu is also cheap besides being delicious and healthy and if you can get it GMO free and organic that would be best I'm not a fan of GMO food simply because I don't want the chemical residues on anything that I eat I'm working so hard to try to optimize myself and if you are avoiding GMM whole food, but you're eating a bunch of artificial colors, flavors, preservatives, and emulsifiers, you're just better off eating that GMO whole food. People have totally misunderstood what's healthy and what's not healthy. And really it's simple, eat real food. Real food rots, chemicals don't. Chemicals suppress your immune system. So eat whole grains, except for maybe rice, as it absorbs 10 times more arsenic than any other grain. The key is to keep your grain whole so it doesn't need a preservative from keeping it rotting. Bread is not whole grain, even if it says whole wheat. Bread is made from processed refined grains grounded into flours and some breads are junkier than others. Now when I eat bread, I know it's junk food and occasionally I'll eat it. And when I know it's a treat, I treat it as a treat and I eat it at the very end and I eat very little of it. Otherwise on a daily basis, I avoid tamales, tortillas, processed rice foods, they all will suppress my immune system. Another food that I try to get every day is ginger. I grew up on ginger. My dad always gave me ginger whenever I got sick. So I never got any over-the-counter medications or any antibiotics. Ginger has lots of anti-inflammatory immune modulating properties. There's so many ways to eat ginger. You can sprinkle it in water. You can cook with it or you can add it to your food as a salad dressing. Really, it has so many anti-inflammatory properties. 2020 really opened my eyes to how we are all connected as one big global community and we all need each other in this world so i hope that you will find some of my tips valuable and are able to share them with others if you want to learn more about immune boosting foods check out my next video